Hey, Divine Feminine, it's your girl, Hill Feminine, back at you again with another reading. Um, I've been getting some intuitive messages. Um, you, you, somebody got a hateful as maternal figure. Somebody maternal figure is hateful as fuck. She is a karmic, karmic ass bitch. And her boyfriend or her husband, baby daddy, whoever this is, is helping her. Um, conspire against you. I have been picking up this energy since yesterday morning, yesterday rising, excuse me. I've been picking up this energy since yesterday, since I woke up. And whoever this, this karmic maternal figure is, she is doing something with red candles, red candle magic, red candles. So she wants you to get away from your masculine, move away from your masculine all because you have either been with them for a long time or she didn't expect the connection to be what it was and her thing is she's having tumultuous time problems and issues within her relationship so she wants to make you feel sorry or upset or mad or whatever this is about this connection that you and your masculine is in but i'm gonna pray first and then we're gonna get started but first things first if you would like to get a personal reading with me only thing you need to do is hit the description bar below um if you would like to tip and donate everything you need to know is down below i want to let you guys know that i appreciate you for your continued support um don't forget to like comment and subscribe oh yeah turn the bell notification on um i feel compelled to tell you if this is not your reading do not try to make it fit do not try to make it fit um if it's not your story if it's not whatever don't try to make it fit maybe next time maybe not but I'm going to pray first and we're going to figure out what this is, what's going on with this. Um, as I said, three guys are my highest white light, highest good. I give you full permission to channel through me to give me clear, concise, accurate, honest answers and clarity. Allow me to see, say, and reveal what this energy is. What's T spirit? What's T? What's going on with this? What's going on with this um, karmic maternal figure where she's trying to uh, burn red candles or do some type of fucked up shit? What is this? What's going on with this spirit? What's going on? Allow me to see, say, and hear and reveal what it is. Okay, so we have first card out, we have the journey card. So with this journey card here is showing up is that either you and your masculine moved in together or y'all have started to go a lot of places where um this this karmic maternal figure has never been and she's seeing you guys with envied eyes so she's envying the connection she's envying whatever this is that's going on but with, with all of these packages with all of these boxes in the cards or whatever she see that you guys are on a journey so this could very much so be your um your life partner this could be this could be um, your divine masculine. Whoever this masculine is to you, this maternal figure doesn't like it. She doesn't like the connection that you have with this masculine. And she wants to stop it. She wants this to stop. She doesn't like the journey and the path that you guys are on. Because she recognizes that you guys were put together for a purpose. And whoever is going, whoever this is in her energy, she recognizes that her and that exactly. I can't make this shit up with the privileged lady card here in reverse. It's showing up is that who is ever she's in a committed connection with or whoever she's in a relationship with um the things are not going right versus the connection that you and your masculine is in so she's not getting what she wants out of life um in her relationship just overall in general with this privileged lady so she recognizes like shit is not going right in her life and she wants to put a stop to yourself with this community card here is showing up is that she either watches your children or has um she either watches your children or she is around your family that you made with your masculine a lot and she doesn't like it so she envies it with this community card here uh, let me get this she she envies it with this community card here she envies the whole connection because she doesn't like that you guys have such a close-knit family such a close-knit bond she doesn't like whatever this is that's going on between you two with the community card so she wants to wreck it with this um privileged lady card her thing is she wants to get rid of the connection she wants you guys to separate with this journey card so she's willing to do anything and everything to conspire against you and your masculine 
um, with this community card. I can't make this up with the with the courthouse card here. So she, I'm getting something about calling um, DCFS. Um, AFC, whatever this is, she's trying to call child protective services on your family, on on you, um, on your situation to try to conspire against your children or get your children away from you. So whoever this maternal figure is with this privileged lady, like she's going to the courts or she's going and reporting things um, against your house with this, against your family with this house car. So she wants to basically crumble whatever it is that you're working on with your masculine she wants to destroy your family with this courthouse car here um whatever stability that you have built with this house car here she wants to destroy she doesn't want whatever this connection is so, so um she doesn't want whatever this this connection that you have with your masculine to flourish because with the mature man car here is showing up is your masculine is starting to stand up for their self with this courthouse car and and your masculine is starting to stand up for their self with this courthouse car and your masculine never did that when your masculine was growing up with this uh karmic maternal figure or your masculine never showed a sign of actually getting um uh, out of their own way or doing things for their self so this karmic maternal figure this woman whoever this bitch is she wants to destroy because her thing is like who the fuck does he think he is um around here standing up for himself or telling me no so your masculine has been telling this woman no i can't make this up your masculine has been telling this woman no your masculine has been advocating for you standing up for yourself putting a whole lot of stops to things because with this house car here this woman has been creating chaos and turmoil for a long time this woman has been doing all type of shit that she don't have no business doing but she is surprised with this mature man car and this masculine the way that your masculine is standing up for himself the way that he is advocating for you um your family your children whatever this is she is surprised by this with this message of concern so the way that um the way that your masculine is coming through is surprising her she's like where did he get all of this energy from where what why why is he so stable why is he so grounded where did he get this new energy from so she's questioning him so she has a lot of questions for him she's trying to figure out like when did he come into his own with the wealthy man card here is showing up as he has made a life for himself outside of her so whatever this is is that he's starting to get money Money or make money and not take the bribes of this maternal figure with this um, message of concern so your masculine was basically taking orders from this karmic maternal figure taking orders taking money um doing all type of things but his thing is now he's not concerning himself with her anymore he's starting to stand up for himself with this wealthy man car and create balance and abundance and prosperity in his life and her thing is she don't like it she feels as though that you have something to do with it the reason why he's starting to stand up for himself exactly with this message card here she feels like you're feeding him some type of information or you're telling him what to do or telling him how to act so she feels like you're controlling him with this mature man card like you're controlling his thoughts you're controlling his energy you're controlling everything about him with this sudden wealth card here it's showing up is also that your masculine has come into some money and he's not sharing it with this maternal figure so she's used to him giving um up all his wealth doing um giving all his wealth uh, running all her errands giving away his money um running to her beck and call but with this message card here she's like when did you get this type of when did you get this energy where are you getting this attitude from so her thing is like she's her thing is like you've never been like this so when when did you get all of these balls when did you get all of this guts when did you get all of this information with this pathway card when did you decide to pull away from me where is this energy coming from so she is confused she is confused at where this is coming from but with the toil and labor card here is showing up is that <clears throat> divine feminine when you came into this person's life you put you struck something within him with his toil and labor car and it was like the things that you were saying the things that you were doing how you basically live your life with this toil and labor car and this message card you basically put him in the energy of i need to elevate my life 
I need to elevate my energy. I need to do what's right for me. So you put your masculine on a different path with this pathway card. And it's all, it is it is because of you. But this karmic maternal figure, whoever this feminine energy is, she can't take it. So she feels like that this bitch trying to be um, masculine's uh, mom or she's trying to be um, over um, masculine she's trying to do the most with this official person so with this official person card she feels like you're some type of drill sergeant you're some type of um you're some type of sheriff whatever this is she feels like you are commander in chief like you're trying to do the ultimate most like she feels like underneath you because you have gotten your you have gotten your masculine to do things that she could have never got your masculine to do with this pathway card so you have opened your masculine masculine's eyes you have opened his eyes to doing a lot of different things with this message card again this message card keeps coming out so it's like you're putting messages on into him you're you're delivering messages it's either you're you're saying certain things or you're having him view things differently so he's changing his mind altogether and she don't like this with this community card this community card keep on coming out so she's getting people to come against you so she's creating some type of difficulties where she's trying Trying to call so i keep hearing ass i don't know what that is i know what as mean but i don't know what ass what well, it could mean something else but y'all know what it is so take it how it resonate but she's calling somebody to get this situation to go astray so it's some type of uh karmic uh baby mother where he has another uh child's mother and she's siding with that uh though she's siding with this karmic uh child's mother she's siding with them because she wants to basically block your path she wants to get in the way with this toil and labor to stop whatever it is that you guys have going on so she's siding with this karmic child's mother or this other karmic feminine she's siding with whoever this third party she's siding with this person basically to, to destroy or to move your masculine away from you exactly i can't make this up with this coffin car here so she wants whatever this situation is that you and your masculine have she wants it to end so her thing is that she's willing and ready to call the police she's willing and ready to do things that she doesn't supposed to be doing because i kept on dreaming of red candles um uh separation like so she wants to separate you away from your masculine and she wants the karmic child's mother to be the the, the one and only the main one she wants that karmic child's mother to be I cannot make this up with this courtship card. She wants that to be the relationship because whoever this karmic feminine is that your masculine either dealt with or is dealing with, she wants that person to be the end all, be all, the number one and the only due to the fact of that she resembles her and how she runs her house or how she ran her house or whatever this is. So the way that you are coming towards your masculine, the way that you're teaching or the way that you show your masculine certain things she like who the fuck do divine feminine think she is who the fuck do she think she is with this courtship card like you're not about to change my son or you're not about to change him you're not about to do anything different because i built this with this community card here and i'd be damned if you try to come in and stop anything with this coffin card so her thing is is that you fucked her up <laughs> You fucked her up, Devin. <laughs> you fucked this. I cannot stop laughing. This shit is so crazy. You fucked this lady up with this concern card when you came in and you put a stop to the way that she was talking to you or the way that she was talking to your masculine. Your thing, it was like, I, I don't really, I don't know who the fuck you talking to, but you're not about to talk to me like this with this courtship card. And you damn sure not about to talk to my masculine like this. So you fucked her up with this concern card. So now she's sitting here like stuck like damn like what i'm gonna do to get this thing to end what what can i say what can i conjure up what can i do her thing is she needs to stop you at all costs i this is with the thoughts card right here so she's thinking of like all type of shit to fuck you over um divine feminine like she 
is literally putting magic on um divine masculine she's literally doing things to make him turn away from you so if you and your masculine just broke up or y'all not on good terms or whatever this lady with this concern card and this thoughts card has been doing separation spells or pull pulling him away from you and all type of shit so this so the masculine will not talk to you or fuck with you exactly i cannot make this up with the child card here in reverse putting all type of negative energy in your masculine's mind with this concern card telling him you know that ain't your baby you know that ain't your baby you know that ain't your baby you know the van feminine a hoe you know she dealing with so many other people like judging the whole situation with excuse judging the whole situation Come on, cards now with the dumb stuff. <laughs> Judging the whole situation with this adjudication card, trying to put bad information in his head, trying to say, like, you know that your, your, um, that that's not your baby. Well, whoever his other baby mama or whatever this other situation is, she's trying to paint the picture to him, like, that's, you know, that's the right situation you should be in. And got your divine masculine thinking with this thoughts card. So your divine masculine had, if your, your divine masculine has been acting up, I'm getting the energy that your masculine has been acting acting up and acting different towards you so whatever this karmic maternal figure has put in in the works or whatever has got your masculine thinking about you differently with the thoughts card and it's due to the fact of this hateful ass karmic maternal figure doing things to lead your masculine astray away from you so now with the adjudication card and this thoughts card is your masculine like well damn maybe the baby not mad or maybe my divine feminine is out here doing stuff she don't got no business so now your masculine is taking whatever this karmic maternal figure is saying into consideration like he's thinking about it like heavily like well maybe she's right well maybe she do know what she's talking about so with the bad health card here is showing up as this woman is literally sick she is sick in the head she is sick because she has some type of obsession with masculine like some type of obsession with him like this could be very much so be your karmic maternal figure or his karmic maternal figure place the energy where it need be and she with this bad health card like she's having some type of sick thoughts where she wants uh your masculine basically to be her own with this child card i cannot make this up this shit is coming through real real sick like she wants him to be her man she wants him away from you she wants to have him close to her regardless if she got a connection or not she's thinking about him in some type of sick unethical way where she wants him to be oh this is so fucked up with this mature woman car here she she thinking about him like yeah if i just have him my way or if i have him have it like this and this could go in my favor so divine feminine i'm just telling you to watch your children to watch yourself around this mature woman watch yourself because she is in the energy of doing anything and everything exactly with the change cards to change the way your life is going or to change the way situations is going because she wants this person away from you she wants him to move away from you she wants whatever y'all got going to stop she wants this shit to stop with this wealthy man card here she don't like the fact that he's making more money or he's doing better for himself and he has changed the way that he's thinking and doing things she wants him to stop with this high iron card here so she's literally contacting um uh, malevolent ancestors, uh, dark energies, dark, uh, shit, um, she's literally doing candle magic, like I said, she's fucking with red candles, in particular, I just kept seeing cold red, 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 so she's literally doing shit to, to conjure up things, hold on one second, I just dropped my card, yeah, she's literally doing things with this, um, with this high honor card here and this thoughts in reverse. Um, she's literally conjuring up things like thinking negative thoughts, putting negative energy into things with this thoughts card here in reverse. So she's trying to get him away from you, your child, your situation or whatever this is. If you don't have kids with him to place the energy, but she's literally conjuring up things so he could think negatively over you and get away from you with this high honor card here. So you could be left out in a cold. I am picky up. She wants you to be single. She wants you to be in lack she wants you to be in destitute so if you've been having some issues surrounding around things that normally go in your favor know that it's her stopping it know that it's her that is doing things against you but i'm hearing hell is hot and she's getting ready to reap whatever it is that she has put out here because with this stability excuse me with this house car she thinks she thinks she got stability or she thinks that she's cool she thinks that she's untouchable i can't fucking make this up with this false person car she thinks that things is cool and she she feel like okay well yeah since 
I'm I'm lighting all these red candles. I'm doing all this bullshit. That yeah, divine feminine gonna leave or she gonna be pushed away. But little do she know with this privileged lady card here, she is doing nothing but um she's doing nothing but but helping you out. So whatever magic or whatever this bitch is doing, whatever she is, is putting putting in the works or trying to stop you. It's actually increasing your wealth. It's actually increasing your beauty. It's actually making you turn out to be for the better. So whatever this is, is she's expecting the worst, but it's she should really she really just fucked herself up. She's expecting the worst. She thinks that things are supposed to go a certain way, but it's not. She wants to be a control freak with this occupation card and she wants to control the situation. So her thing is she's working night and day hiring somebody or she doing this shit herself to stop you. She's expecting this to work. She is literally expecting this to work. This is back I can't make this shit up. It came out twice. This bitch expect this shit. She expect this to work. She's expecting this to work so you can move away. Yeah, she thinks she's going to get some type of justice with this courthouse car. She thinks she's going to get your children away from you. She thinks that you're going to move away from your um your masculine. She thinks that this karmic child's mother, this other baby mama, this third party, whoever this other karmic bitch is, is going to step in the middle and take your place. She thinks that what all of this work that she's doing with this toilet labor car is going to work. I cannot make this up. With the main female card here, she wants to be number one. She has some type of sick obsession with your masculine and she wants whatever she's putting into work to work because she wants whatever your masculine is giving you to give it back to her. So she's doing things to create unexpected turbulence in your life. She's doing things to do that. But little do she know is like your benevolent and honorable ancestors, your spirit team is literally telling you all about this, is telling you. So divine feminine, wake up to your thoughts that you have wake up to those thoughts that you have because with the great fortune card here is showing up as your spirit team is literally telling you stuff with the thief card here in reverse so it's not gonna work it's not gonna work it's actually going in your favor with the great fortune card again with the thief card in reverse so whatever she's trying to conjure up or whatever she's doing is not going to work because with the great fortune card right here is going to work in your favor it's literally like your spirit team is walking you away from this shit with the despair card here so i'm hearing house fire this bitch this lady house finna catch on fire she finna lose her job she's gonna have some type of unexpected thing happen to her with this despair card so she's about to either get evicted i'm hearing section eight um i'm hearing section eight or um so something that what she gets she's trying to she gets some type of assistance and is getting ready she about to fail the inspection i'm hearing that she about to fail the inspection inspection or whatever she about to fail it i can't can't make this up this family room card she about to fail the inspection she about to do something because i'm seeing a justice card here is she is even though the justice card not out here in this deck but she's getting ready to fail and this is getting ready to go in your favor exactly with the pathway card here so whatever situation that she's trying to create with this main female card here the vast feminine you don't have nothing to worry about this bitch is bad shit crazy with this mature woman card she feels like you are a better woman than she is or you're you're over her or yes i can't make this up she feels like you're intuitive which you are she feels like you're intuitive and you can see dead through her ass you can see dead through her you can see through this situation and you're not going to allow this to happen with the um with the marriage card here so spirit is saying like you and your masculine is going to come back into harmony y'all are going to get things back on one accord y'all are going to get things done correctly with this concern card here spirit is saying don't worry yourself with whatever situation is so if this is some type of legal situation where she tries to trying to get your kids away from you or trying to lie on you or trying to get things to go straight in your house spirit is saying don't worry about it with this coffin card don't worry about it because it's getting ready to end spirit is saying it's going to work out in your favor with this gift card spirit is saying they're going to gift you with some type of instant results because this bitch is getting ready to go to jail or somebody in her camp is getting ready to go to jail whoever this is somebody about to be in jail either spiritual jail or physical jail but whatever this is she about to have limits access to you i can't make this up the poverty card here ending the reading um with this imprisonment card here spirit is saying don't worry about this because this bitch house about to be on fire she about to get evicted some about to snatch her section eight or whatever this is some some about to be over for this bitch some about to be over for her trying to fuck with your livelihood and mess with your masculine whatever this is she about to just got to go against her because with the unexpected income card here spirit is saying don't worry about it divine feminine is getting ready to work out in your favor exactly with the gift card here in the distant horizon is literally finna work out in your favor you and your masculine gonna come back together if you want them if you don't then spirit is saying you don't have to have them but this for the ones who do want their masculine but y'all about to come back and 
and harmony and this situation is getting ready to work in your favor because with the how honor card here spirit is saying they're working this shit out for you and your family with the family room card here and in the reading deck it's gonna work out in your favor but that's all I have for you today, um, Divine Feminine. If you would like to get a personal reading, only thing you need to do is hit the description bar. Everything you need to know is down below. I want to let you guys know that I thank you and I appreciate you um, for tipping and donating and sewing into my channel. Um, if you would like to, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, everything you need to know is down below. Um, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. It's 2 2 -22, So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all. But I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye.